Hello and welcome to the latest uh, online drum class. Uh, today's lesson is going to pick up on what I was talking about in the third part of episode number two. And you may remember that. That was where I was taking different stickings and putting them on top of the very common eighth and sixteenth note rhythmic modules that are very, you know, day-to-day -day building blocks of uh, our drummer vocabulary. Uh, and what I'm going to do today is just to dig down a little bit deeper into that concept that I referred to last time uh, as dexterity. And it's this whole thing, this fusion that happens when you start thinking about how you combine sticking patterns with different rhythmic shapes, rhythms that are basically speeding up and slowing down. So instead of always playing everything at a constant subdivision, or between two constant subdivisions, the subdivision can be changing from one beat to the next, uh, or it might even be a rest. Um, and today's lesson is all in 3-4 time, and I'm going to explain why that is the case, why I've chosen to do that a little bit later on. And the handout, uh, the PDF that you can download with this lesson, is actually the same as page number 84 of my book, uh, if you have that. So if you have the book, you don't need to download this uh, rhythmic material template that I've provided here uh, for today. Uh, I'm not trying to sell you a book, by the way, um, but, you know, or a DVD for that matter, or any old big band CDs. Uh, anyway, let's get right down to what this is all about. And what I have done is I've selected a number of different individual bars from this rhythm study. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at what happens when we start thinking about the rhythms notated here in the context of different sticking permutations. Mm -hmm. 